So I've got this spare front sight base from an Air 15. It's got an integrated gas block, swing swivel, um, bayonet lug, and front sight tower. And I'm going to show you guys how to chop it down so it'll fit inside of a free float tube or a rail. So the tools you'll need at a very minimum are a hacksaw and a file. So you could probably get this whole project done um, for maybe 20 bucks in tools and then another 10 bucks for a can of spray paint. Um, but I'm probably, in addition to those, going to be using an angle grinder. Well, probably use the angle grinder instead of a hacksaw. And a Dremel tool for the fine finishing work. And then I'll be also be using a um, bench grinder for the heavy stuff, a belt sander, and uh, a vise will come in handy. An optional step would be to remove the sling swivel, retaining pins, and the front sight, uh, D10 and front sight blade and spring, uh, in case you want to use those for a different project. I elected to just take all of them out, but if you want, you can just leave the retaining pins in and just cut off the sling swivel and cut off the front sight and uh, not worry about retaining any of the pieces. When clamping the front sight in the vise to cut it, I would clamp it by the sight tower instead of where the barrel goes through because you're going to cut all those away and throw it away anyway so it doesn't matter if you mess this up so I'm going to just choose to clamp it in the vise like this just like that okay so I'm going to make the first cut with the uh, angle grinder and make sure whenever you're doing something like this that's going to throw a lot of sparks and pieces of metal that you're wearing whatever uh, personal protective equipment that you deem necessary. So for me that's eyes and ears. Here we go. So I'm not going to be that careful when I make the cut, but if you're using um, if you're using a hacksaw, you're going to want to make sure you cut it as close as possible so you don't have to do as much hand filing. But since I have all kinds of power tools at my disposal, I'm just going to hack this off uh, where I feel comfortable. Alright, let's go. Okay, so hopefully you can see there, there's a nice clean cut uh, through the first side. I'm going to go ahead and clamp it and cut the other side. Okay. Alright, there you go. There's the rough cut there. That's the main thing about doing this whole operation is getting that sight tower off of there. Um, if you wanted to do just an optics ready carbine, you didn't want that in your sight picture, this is kind of all you would need to do. It's ugly, but that's that. Um, but if we want to fit it under a rail, we're going to have to do a little bit more. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but uh, right here you can see that the where, the where the sight tower was, it's wider, but the center part that connects it is, is fairly narrow. And what we want to do is kind of chop off these edges and make this into more of like a triangle peak here instead of being squared off at the top. So we're just going to do some work on the bench grinder at first and the belt sander and, um, and just get this so it's as low profile as we can. We can't go too deep. We don't want to interfere with the gas port uh, or anything like that. Or, and we don't want to interfere with our, our pins here. So this is what we're going to work out first is here and then after that we'll get rid of the bayonet lug and the sling swivel. Um, and we're also going to be careful to watch our heat during this. This is a fairly small part uh, and thin in many places so it gets pretty hot so we'll keep some water to dunk it in and keep the heat down. Ok 
Okay, so the it's kind of as far as we can go on the bench grinder. I've got it to a pretty good dimension here. Clean it up a little bit on the belt sander. But at this point I'm going to go ahead and chop off the sling swivel and bayonet lug with an angle grinder. Okay, so I, I don't want to clamp it down uh, on the part that goes over the barrel. So I'm going to clamp it, my jaws of my vise fit right between here. So I'm going to clamp it right on that bridge there so as not to deform anything. All right. I'm just going to take it easy, cut off the sling swivel and the bayonet lug. So here's the rough cut of the bayonet lug and the sling swivel being cut off with an angle grinder. The bayonet lug was probably the thickest thing that you have to cut through this whole uh, this whole project and it might be hardened. I don't know if the whole piece is hardened but this might have been hardened steel seeing as how it was a bayonet lug. So uh, heat was a, was an issue cutting this so I just kept dunking it in some water. But uh, there we go so I'll clean this up on the bench grinder. So I've got the piece about as good as I can get on the bench grinder. You can see there's little feet on the top here where the sling swivel and the bayonet lug were. And uh, since the bench grinder is a rounded wheel and the belt sander has a nice flat spot for me. I think the belt sander will be easier to flatten off this bottom part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the bench grinder is somewhat more coarse than the belt sander, so I just thought I'd let you see as I clean up the top a little bit. Okay, so this is the semi-final result. I'm pretty happy with uh, as far as taking any more material off. I think this is where I'm at. Uh, gone over it with the belt sander. And I think it's a pretty nice, clean looking little low pro gas block there. And um, I may hit this just with some black Krylon for now, and uh, might be some parkerization in its future. Let me know what you guys think. Hope this was helpful.